What's going on America and welcome to another special edition of Real America. Now normally we like to have fun and poke fun at things that are going on in the news, but as you probably know, our country is at a tipping point, if you will, and tensions have never been higher. Division has never been greater, and just the overall temperature in the room, if you will, seems a bit too high to talk about anything other than the fact of unity. Now, certain people say that they like to believe in unity. Even there's a party that says that they are the party of unity. But yet companies like mine, 912 United, whose sole purpose is to talk about the unity we felt the day after September 11th, where we came together as Americans, we get censored on Facebook because apparently that's even too controversial of a thing. So who is really unified and who is not? We have news anchors that are calling every single conservatives and relating them to being Klan supporters and being pro putting people in concentration camps. Now, I'm not making that up. This is true. All you have to do is go to CNN and see it for yourself. But the worst part, and I do mean the worst part, is that actual elected officials who claim that all they want to do is unify say things like this. I don't want to hear or see the Republican Party talk about blue lives ever again. This was never about safety for them. It was always a slogan. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I have to say this. First of all, conservatives have been pro-police since I've been alive. In fact, myself, I take offense to this. We, I even have a charity foundation whose sole purpose is to provide needs for our first responders and our military. What have you done? What are you doing? These are questions that every American should actually be asking anyone in an elected position when they make statements such as this. What are you doing? What are you actually doing to make change? What are you actually doing to bring people together in this regard? It's simply not true. I'm sorry I interrupted. Let's proceed. They don't give a damn about the law. They don't give a damn about order. They don't give a damn about about safety, they give a damn about white supremacy. They care about preserving the social order and the mythology of whiteness. I'm sorry, uh, again, my question is simply this. How can an elected official make claims such as this without any kind of fact checking or repercussions? How can someone say that anyone that is a conservative is automatically pro white supremacy? Am I the only one? Am I the only one that sees that this is dangerous, divisive rhetoric that doesn't make any sense? In fact, this is the exact opposite of what we need right now in this country. If we all are supposed to be united and coming together and moving on in American society, then why are we talking like this? Why are the people that belong to the party that claims that they want unity speaking like this? None of this makes any sense to me, but this is the last thing that I want you to hear. Because if they actually cared about rule of law, they would speak up when people break the law. They would speak up. They would enforce fairness and equity. Uh, did you catch that? She didn't say equality. No, she in fact said equity, which is talking about the equity of outcome, which we've talked about plenty of times. Ladies and gentlemen, the truth of the matter is equality doesn't always equal being equal. If we really want equality in America, we have to understand that no one's going to end up in the same position. No one's going to end up in the same place. Three runners can train their whole lives in the same house, the same training regiment, the same food, the same trainers, everything would be equal. But then on race day, one is going to pull ahead One's going to come in second and one is going to fall and possibly break their leg because that is life. The pursuit of happiness is simply that. You have the right to pursue happiness. What they're wanting is everyone to have the same thing no matter what. No matter what, no matter how much energy you put in, no matter how much effort you put in, no matter what happens, you have the same equity of outcome as a person that does nothing. This by very definition is socialism and we as Americans cannot allow this rhetoric to come into our society because it is not only wrong, it is not only flawed, it is not only proven to be broken and not work ever. It is also the opposite of being united and coming together to move forward as 
Americans. That's all we have for this episode of Real America. We hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, follow us on Facebook and YouTube. These are divided times, and we all need to remember one thing. At the end of the day, we are all Americans. And as always, for those who can't, I'll say it for you. What's up guys, Graham Allen here. If you liked the video you just watched, be sure to subscribe to the official Turning Point USA channel to keep up with everything we've got going on now.